Welcome back to the SparkFun Inventors Kit for LabVIEW tutorial series. I'm Sam Kristoff from LabVIEW Maker Hub, and in this section, we'll learn how to read the temperature from a TMP36 temperature sensor. We'll start by opening an example from LabVIEW. So I'll click Help and find examples. Then I'll click the Search tab and search for Links and press Enter. Near the bottom, you'll see the Lynx TMP3X example. I'll double click that to open it. This example works for the TMP3 5, 6, and 7. I'll close Example Finder. And the first thing we need to do is switch to the block diagram and choose which TMP model we're using. By default, it's set to 35. And I'll click the drop down and choose the TMP3 6. As long as we're here, let's take a look at the code. We're opening a connection to the redboard. Then we use the TMP36 sensor VI to read the temperature. We need an analog input channel to read from. In this case, you can see I have analog input zero connected to the middle pin of the TMP36 and power and ground connected to the others. And that VI gives us the temperature in Celsius. At the end, we close the connection to the redboard and handle any errors. Let's jump back to the front panel, and then I'll choose the serial port connected to the redboard, which is COM3, and the AI channel. We're wired to AI0, which is already selected, so I'll go ahead and click the Run button. LabVIEW will establish a connection with the redboard, and it'll start to read the analog value being outputted by the TMP36. You can see it's about 32 degrees Celsius, a little bit hot under the bright lights. Now, if I place some ice on the TMP36, we should see the temperature drop. We're down to about 27 now. Let's go back to the block diagram and look at the code again. We have a TMP36 VI. How did we get this VI? Well, it's built into links, but if we want to see how it works, we can just double click on it. I'll look at its block diagram by pre pressing Control E, and you can see under the hood, it's just using a Lynx analog read one channel. It passes along the channel that we give the TMP36 VI and outputs a voltage. It subtracts 0.5 from the voltage because there's a 0.5 volt offset, and then it multiplies that value by 100. This is just the equation given by the TMP36 data sheet to convert the voltage into a temperature in Celsius. That does it for our simple example of reading temperature from the TMP36. Think about how you could use temperature in your next project. Maybe you could use an RGB LED to indicate the temperature using color. Or you could use a buzzer to sound an alarm when a temperature reaches a certain threshold. Make sure to join us for our next section where we'll talk about pressure sensors. Make sure to check out labviewmakerhub.com for more tutorials and projects, and ask any questions you have on the MakerHub forums at labviewmakerhub.com forums.